a sensational report in the New York Times. It has emerged that the Federal Bureau of Investigation in the United States began an investigation against the President of the United States, Donald Trump. The investigation sought to establish whether Donald Trump was either actively or unwittingly working for the Russians against U.S. interests. New York Times quotes sources in the FBI who had grown concerned over the actions of the President after the shock sacking of the FBI Director James Comey. The investigation also looked into whether the sacking of James Comey amounted to obstruction of justice. The inquiry was later taken over by special counsel Robert Mueller when he was appointed days after the FBI started the investigation. Um, and to add more perspective to this story, I'm joined in by Stephen Golub, our international affairs expert. He's joining us live from California. Stephen, a very warm welcome to you. You know, this report has again sought to establish whether Donald Trump was actively or unwittingly working for the Russians against U.S. interests. And this is indeed a sensational report at the moment. The White House, though, is calling it absurd. But the report will surely intensify calls for Trump's impeachment. Don't you think so? Certainly, sooner or later it will, and I completely agree, agree with the way you characterize this. This is sensational. The fact this is the equivalent of your own counterintelligence, domestic counterintelligence agency in India, launching an investigation into Prime Minister Modi for collaborating with China on issues that would, would have run counter to India's best interests. And that's what we had the FBI doing here. To flesh it out a little bit more, I understand that our Department of Justice would have had to approve this investigation. It probably would have been the, the, the Deputy Attorney General who oversees the Mueller investigation that um, succeeded, that replaced the FBI investigation. Um, as for impeachment, I think sooner or later there will be a move to impeach him. Um, a, a, Democrat, a couple of Democratic congresspersons in our House of Representatives have already um, uh, uh, submitted a measure to move in that direction for impeachment. But how soon that happens is a matter of legal and political calculation, as well as what the Mueller investigation mm -hmm. may reveal. Stephen, how do you look at this entire controversy, and especially the investigations in terms of hierarchy? Because let's not forget that the FBI has said that the sacking of James Comey was an obstruction in justice. And now Robert Mueller is also having a tough time. So how do you see things panning out now? Because let's not forget that the president of America is the executive person who everybody is reporting to. Oh, this is, uh, in normal times, this would be incredible for different reasons. That is, a federal agency, uh, the fe our law enforcement agency, looking into the conduct of a president um, could be seen as ways of undermining his authority, undermining the executive. But, but to be very frank, these are not normal times, and this is not a normal president. This is not a normal world leader in the way in the way that Prime Minister Modi is, or the Prime Minister of, of Great Britain is, or of France, or of Japan, or of any number of other nations. Donald Trump is acting in very different ways than other major world leaders operate, and. And frankly, also, there are grounds to suspect by by way of his the, the, by way of his tolerance of all sorts of Russia um, actions and transgressions around the world, not least they're interfering with our elections, which has been completely confirmed uh, by by all sorts of sources, including our intelligence agencies. There really are very, very strong reasons to wonder where his loyalties lie. Right. Very rightly said that there are very strong reasons to actually wonder where his loyalties lie. He's already at loggerheads with the Democrats and now the Democrats have fresh ammunition. How do you see the story panning out considering, you know, earlier Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer also mentioned that he's using the entire border issue as a digressional tactic? Well, uh, these are in some ways two different uh, issues in that this immediate story, well, we'll see what tomorrow's news may bring, what, what new revolutions it may bring, but this in and of itself will just feed into 
um, the, the, or is a part of the bigger story of the Mueller investigation, and I should emphasize investigations that are going on by other parts of the Justice Department uh, into his conduct, and that will be conducted by the House of Representatives now, the Dem now that the Democrats control that. It's, it, it, the, the border issue and, and Trump partially shutting down the government is separate in some ways in that he's just trying to maintain support by shutting down the government, by keep it by, by this, these blatant lies he's telling about um, immigrants from Mexico being terrorists or causing crime or all sorts of crime and whatever. He's doing that to try, try to maintain his domestic political base, which right now is about a third of the population, but maintaining that base is crucial to his maintaining the support of the Republican Party, including members of the Republican Party in Congress who will determine whether he'll be, if not impeached, because the Democrats control the House of Representatives, they'll determine that, but whether he'll be convicted and thrown out of office by the Senate, which is still under Republican control. Right. Now, many a big name has been cited as part of the probe so far, but this is the president himself whose name is being linked to Russia. Do you think the probe could actually head the president's way? Oh, certainly. Oh, definitely. Uh, uh, I think the, the, there are so many charges. Perhaps the strongest and obvious one right now is the obstruction of justice charge, that by firing Director Comey by a number of other, FBI Director Comey, by a number of other actions and statements on the part of uh, President Trump, he has pretty clearly, it seems, tried to obstruct justice, which which really can and should be an impeachable offense. Now, in, in terms of collaboration, conspiracy, collusion with Russia, that seems like it could well be the case, but that hasn't been nailed down yet. And that is one of the reasons why we're all over here waiting for the results of, of the Mueller investigation to come out. And regarding the Mueller investigation, one thing I do want to um, emphasize is that whatever you and I and the rest of the world knows is probably just 10 or 20 percent of what Robert Mueller and his investigation mm -hmm. team know at this point. There could well be things that come out that mm -hmm. we suspect or that we haven't even suspected yet. Right, very rightly mentioned by you, you know, that you and I probably just know 10 to 20 percent of what's happening under this investigation carried out by Robert Mueller. To end with, I would like to ask you, uh, what are the challenges now that you see uh, unfolding for Robert Mueller? Oh, boy, that's a good question. Do you have a couple of hours to discuss it? Um, I'll You'll try have to, to just it give short. it to me in a gist. I know, I know. I'm sorry. The basically um, the there's a good there's a very good chance that Trump's new attorney general, who's been nominated but not yet approved by the Senate, will gain control of the investigation after he comes in, uh, replacing control by the deputy attorney general, who's been allowed Mueller to just go his way. And the really big question there is, will this new attorney general allow Mueller to pursue his investigation, interfere with him in subtle or not so subtle ways? Uh, and whether th that, along with other things Trump might try, will impede the investigation. I think in the end, the results will come out, but that remains to be seen. Right, Stephen, thank you so much for bringing us your precious perspective. Let's leave it at that. We have lots to wait and watch for the moment.